Hello everyone, this is Welch ASMR82. Hey, how you doing? I'm just going to do a really short video today just to talk about the trauma that I had over the weekend um, regarding the last match of the most exciting title run-in of any of the top leagues in Europe this year and it was the German Bundesliga and the last day was an absolute classic. The title changed hands like three times in a single hour and a half period. The matches that were happening were just totally insane. And um, yeah, so I'm going to have a little talk about what happened in those two matches. I was watching one on the TV and one on my laptop simultaneously. I'm going to talk about the, tr the trauma of going through that and how exciting it was. And, and also the final outcome with Bayern Munich winning their 10th consecutive Bundesliga title and how I feel that affects the league um, and how I feel it was an absolutely lost chance for Borussia Dortmund. Quite a little bit of controversial talk from me towards the end of the video about how I believe Bayern Munich are systematically destroying the Bundesliga by winning it so often. It's a little bit controversial so we'll leave that till later on. Let's talk about the fun bit first. So the matches themselves were absolutely insane. Um, let me talk you through. So I was watching and the start of the match, um, Bayern Munich got a goal up against Cologne. So they scored really early on. I think it was Coleman on the eighth minute, absolutely. So um, at that point, um, stupidly, the um, announcer announced in the stadium on the, on the eighth minute that Bayern were winning. And so the crowd got a little bit agitated and you could see it affected the players on the pitch. They knew that only a win, really, at that point, would clinch them the title, um, bearing in mind that they were two points ahead at the start of the day. So um, under certain circumstances, a draw might have been enough at one point. We'll come to it later. A, a loss was even enough, but we'll come back to that. So Borussia Dortmund then um, were very slack at the back. I, I haven't watched too much of them this year, but the commentators were saying that it was very atypical very out of character. So Hansch Olsen scored in the 15th minute. Now Mainz haven't won a game in five matches consecutively so they're really out of form at this point. They are running through Borussia Dortmund on the counter-attack. Hansch Olsen scores in the 15th minute from a header and a corner. Totally against the script but you know the chat the crowd are cheering and uh, sorry my battery's running low um, and the crowd are cheering and everything seems absolutely fine. They're like, it's just one goal, we get it back, it's fine. So they run up the end of the pitch and um, they get fouled in the box. And the, pen the no penalty is given immediately, the referee just waves it away. Then VAR get involved, give a penalty. Sebastian Ale stands up to take the goal, um, take the penalty. He has not taken a single penalty all season, don't know why he was on duty. He got saved. Um, within two minutes, um, they were fouled again in the box. Again, the referee totally ignored it. Everyone's going absolutely nuts. It's an absolute 100% penalty. It was even more clear than the first one. Um, and VAR either don't check it or don't recommend that the, he goes and takes a look at it. And it's just, and everyone's fuming. The, the manager's up off the bench. The crowd are going crazy. It's a clear penalty. And then... Um, Reminds, of course, run down the other end and score. So it's it's like when you get to this scenario in Football Manager and you'd like have to rage quit because you're like, this would this can't be happening. You can't be 2 0 down at home against a side that never wins when all you've got to do is just either like draw, maybe, um, and you've had a penalty almost not given and a second penalty completely ignored. And you're just thinking, oh, this can't actually happen. And I was just saying to myself, oh my God, just rage quit and start again. It's like, you can beat them 99 times out of 100. What is going on? So the stats for this match are absolutely insane. You can see here that Guerrero actually did score on the 69th minute. And soon on the 96th minute, it was already too late at this point. Capacity Stadium 81,000. Um, Dortmund were literally all over them. They had a brand new goalkeeper, I want to name him, Darman, um, 8.9 out of 10. He is like this kid who is, um, it was like one of his first matches. 
expected goals for 29 shots on goal. You've never seen anything like it. Mainz are basically just being bombarded. The goalkeeper saving everything. Big chances, 6. 73% possession. 583 passes. It, it was like... It was a total rage quit moment. Like, I... It looked like nothing... When I used to play FIFA, it was like a throw your controller down moment. You know, it's like, no, this, the keeper is a kid who it's like one of his first matches in the senior team. He's from the reserves. He can't actually score this many goals. His expected, I think something they read it out uh, at the time, his expected saves were like way lower. Like he saved things he never should have saved. It was just insane. But regardless... They were so they were two one down at this point, and then Cologne get an eighty first minute penalty and score it to draw one all. And all of a sudden, even though even though Borussia Dortmund are losing, they're still winning the title. So for eight minutes, they were winning the title despite losing at home. And then Musiala gets the ball, shoots from an impossible angle. It curls. It's the most stunning. It just look for it online. Look for it on Sky Sports. It's the most unbelievable goal, and he wins them the league. On the 89th minute, like it's, I, it was unbelievable. My heart was pounding all the way through this. So then, of course, they. It's so I'm watching this on the laptop, and I've got Borussia Dortmund on the TV. So they're still playing away, missing everything. Like every header has just hits the post, or just goes past the post, or just gets saved by this kid. And you can see um, all, the, all the Bayern Munich players look hanging around watching it on their phone on, in the stadium in, in Cologne. And then they go off and celebrate. So unbelievable end, super exciting, um, amazing sort of advertisement for um, this particular league. But controversially, I think it was the wrong thing to happen. Now, I don't hate on Bayern Munich. If you're a Bayern Munich fan, you know, they're an amazing club. They do brilliant things in Europe. Lovely to watch. But we just, it's just too much now. I think this is their 10th, I think off the top of my head, this is their 10th in a row. I, I actually think, when I speak to people who don't watch the Bundesliga, they think it's a Mickey Mouse league. Like, they think, that, oh, it's just Bayern Munich win it. Uh, they don't even have to try and it must be a terrible league. So that's what people say to me. Oh, the gym, why do you watch the German league? It's it's a rubbish league. I'm like, it's not. It's the, one of the biggest leagues in the world. One of the most, um, it's the highest attendance of any league in Europe. Some of the players there are fantastic. Um, it's really, really big clubs. Um, but the fact that Bayern Munich always win it sends this message out to people everywhere that don't watch German football, don't really want to watch it because they think, well, What's the point by me if you're going to win anyway? It's really harming the reputation of the league abroad. Plus, it's harming them in the sense that Bayern Munich always get that prize money. They always get into the Champions League. They always buy players from the rest of the teams in this league, weakening them, weakening the opposition. Um, they get quite far in the Champions League, but other clubs don't. Borussia Dortmund nearly did this year, but failed again. Um, and I think that they are overall harming both the reputation and the capacity for the other teams in the league to go on and excel. I think it would be really good for a, a couple of years if Bayern Munich could be beaten 